Okay, folks, got him. How are you all today? Welcome back to my channel. This is Duker Does. Um, today I've got a movie review for you, and this time it's a Korean tragedy called Sodom. Now, here in America, it's titled The Throne, but Sato is the name of a prince that um, lived in Korea over 300 years ago, died at the age of 27, lived a life of tragedy, and I'll get into that tragedy here in a minute because that's basically what the, the film is about. Um, now, give me a little info about the film. It came out in 2015. Uh, it stars Song Kong Ho as King Young Jo. That would be Sato's father. Sato was played by Yu An, Yu An In. His wife was played by uh, uh, Lady Hyo Gyung. His wife was played by um, Myu Gyun Young. And please forgive me if I mess up these names. His um, son, who later on becomes king, um, is played by Su Ji Sutton. The movie is directed by um, Lee Junik. Again, forgive me if I mess these up. And what I liked about this film is I, I, I've I studied Korean martial arts and I have a great love for the Korean culture, Korean language and lately here I've been getting into a lot of their movies especially the ones that deal with historical context because I really don't know much about Korean history and this one really kind of touched my heart in ways I didn't expect because me being a father there's just something that I could not imagine doing and Sato's life uh, began with the, the, the death of his bro older brother who was in line to become king. When he died, he became crown prince, meaning he would be the next in line to become king. And as he grew up, him and his father were at odds over the way he was doing things. And you need to understand that at the time, Korea was a Confucian society. The rule of law, um, uh, government, everything was... Confucian and King King Young Jo, Sato's father, felt that his son, in order to become a good king, should spend his time reading books, spend less time doing frivolous things like drawing and uh, playing with dogs, you know, that kind of stuff. Being a kid, he felt that he should be spending every waking moment on becoming a good king. Well, this puts them at odds. I mean, there's times the son, Sato, does things to please his father. And also, at the time in Korea, you had two factions, political factions. In Korea, you had the Noron and the Suron. It was the old learning faction and the young learning faction. And they used this animosity as a way of... of playing sides where they would get more power. And you kind of see that play out in this movie as well, but it's mainly about their relationship. And apparently, um, King Young Jo is uh, in his 35th year um, is a reign, because he reigned for 52 years. There was an event that took place where he was forced to do something about his son, Crown Prince Sato. Uh, shortly after, uh, he was found digging a grave behind the, the castle. And he showed up on the front steps of the king's residence like he was going to kill someone. And in the eyes of the, the uh, not only the king, but the faction, they felt that was a form of treason. So they pleaded and begged with the king to do something with the, with the prince. Well, normally, 
in Korea at this time, if you committed tre treason, you were put to death. You were beheaded. But his father cannot, uh, you know, King Young Jo cannot bring himself to kill Sado. So instead, he forces, um, forces uh, Crown Prince Sado into a rice box. It's not a very big box. They nail it shut. He even tied it shut at some point. But he was basically starved to death. It was one of the worst forms of execution you could think of because he was given no water, no food, so he just died of starvation. And he was only 27, so it was a it was a really sad way for him to go. But the movie played out showing what led up to these uh, that event. Like one of them was the, the death of his grandmother, who was the queen mother, and. There was an incident where uh, young Joe was trying to get his son to do right. And he'd hand it up, went to the queen mother, and asked his mother if he could abdicate. And his mother was like, fine, you know, I'll just, I'll just put your son on the throne. Well... There's still that father-son relationship. So the son begs and pleads, stayed outside day and night in his grandmother's residence, pleading for his grandmother to change her mind. And upon, she finally decides enough is enough and as a way of, I guess, her own way of, protesting the whole situation is she tells her staff to quit taking care of her. So she quickly feels ill, falls ill, and upon her deathbed, rescinds her order. And King Young Joe is allowed to stay as king. But the death of the grandmother triggers something within Crown Prince Sato. And he basically goes mad, starts dancing, stops going to studies, uh, drinks all the time, um, uh, led his his um, mother on a weird procession on her birthday. You, you just have to see it. But all these things led up to what young Joe finally had to put his foot down and say enough is enough. And it's it's really sad. It, it, it made me think of my own relationship with my son and how far I would go to prove a point to not only my, my family, but him as well. And there is a situation between us right now. And, you know, as a father, it's hard to take a stance against your child when they do wrong because you, you don't want to you don't want to be so hard to the point that you ruin that relationship. And that is kind of where me and my son are at. So this this movie spoke a lot to me as a parent and dealing with the child who I'm at odds with. And I think any parent would identify with this movie as far as putting themselves in the place of the parent and as the son as well because... Even me and my father had issues. And so this was a really good movie. And I promise you, you will feel sorry for Sano. But there's a, there, there is um, kind of glimmer of hope toward uh, in the movie. But it, it's also historically correct. Upon him being put into the rice... Um, into the rice box. Uh, there was a deal struck to where this was the only way he could save his son and make sure that his son, Jung Jo, becomes crown prince and then later on king. And so afterward, after his death, the grandfather, Young Jo, begins to tutor 
Zhengzhou to become king. And while King Zhengzhou is alive, still alive, because he lives to be 82, and which is old for being the 1700s. I mean, he lived from 1694 to 1776, so he lived a good, long life. And But during that time, he kept telling young Joe, or Jung Joe, the grandson, to forget his father's deeds, to move on and do the opposite of what his father had done. And so, later on, the grandson becomes king. And he takes revenge on all those who went against his father. And the history on Crown Prince Sato is kind of ambiguous because their historians differ on some of the texts that were written about that period of time in Korean history. Some believe he just was just out of his head mad all the time. He was crazy. And then others think that maybe he was made a political scapegoat. And so it's just a sad, sad story. And um, definitely want to watch this one. And I'll warn you now, it's in, um, I don't know if there's a dub version because I think the one I watched was sub. So it's Korean language with English subtitles. And so if watching words on the screen is not your thing, this movie is not for you. But if you like foreign films, Really good movie. Definitely check it out. Uh, I found this movie on uh, Kiss Anime, or I'm sorry, my bad, KissAsian.com. And I'm not promoting the website. I'm just letting you know where I found it. They're not paying me to say this. But if you like uh, Asian films, they have films on there from all over Asia. From China to Korea, Japan, Indonesia, uh, Malaysia. Um, I don't think there's any, no, I don't think there's any Indian movies on there, but definitely check it out. Worth a look. Uh, I belong to both their websites. One is anime and the other one is um, movies, but uh, by the way, the anime one is anime one is called kissanime.com but definitely check out this movie remember it's called Sato in Korean the throne in it in American so give it a watch let me know what you think down in the comments I personally liked it and I have a couple recommended recommendations on some other series that you may want to check out that are in relation to this story um if you watch it there's a tv series in korea called um the secret door and it, it's about young joe and sato and it has a different play on what really might have happened during this time and it's worth the watch kind of get a different view of of, of crown prince sato and then if you really want to take it back further, you can look at King Young Joe's life with his father, Suk Jung. Suk Jung was one of the greatest kings in Korea, in all Korean history. And, and there's a, a TV show called Dong Yi that is basically about uh, King Suk Jung's relationship with young Joe's mother, uh, Queen, uh, Queen, I can't remember her name, dang it. But in the, in the story, she's called Dong Yi, but, uh, I know her last name was Ch Choi, Lady Choi. Yeah. But definitely check it out. Those are some really good shows and we'll kind of give you another view on the whole scope of that Korean family because uh, there's one more thing I want to add to this is um, Suk Jung's wife Dong Yi was a water maiden when they met and she was considered low born so 
you, you know, Young Joe caught a lot of flack for being the, the son of a low-born woman in, in Korea at the time. It just wasn't kosher to be the child or to be low-born and a royal. So, you know, it, it's just really, really good. All of them are awesome. Check them out and uh, let me know what you think. This dude does and do good and do Bye-bye.